What's up? Welcome back. Uh, so, do I think truck driving is dope enough or a good idea to get into since Corona or COVID-19 or whatever the case may be? I don't fucking know. C-19, COVID, Corona, whatever you want to call it, right? <coughs> Well, first things first. You that's a nice fucking peak. You gotta understand something, yo. So here's what I want you to understand. You gotta understand that when it comes to this truck driving shit, America runs on this shit, dog. Like, period. Like, you can't this fucking industry, this industry specifically, literally runs America like no if ands or buts like without trucks without truck driving without logistics freight does not get transported and that's all types of freight bro or sis that's literally like yo your tomatoes your watermelon your pineapple your meat your beer your pet food your cat food your dog food your toilet paper, your paper towels, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, Staples, Ashley's Furniture, like all that shit. Your car, your Porsche Panamera, your Porsche Cayenne, your Porsche 911 Turbo, your Mercedes Benz, your A Class, your B Class, your C Class, your big ass. All of that shit literally gets transported on these 18 wheelers, bro. All of it. So do I think trucking is a good idea to get into in 2020, even if COVID? I'll be honest with you. I haven't felt anything. Yes, I, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't have my own truck and trailer just yet, you know? So you might have to roll with the big boys. You might have to roll with a mega carrier. But as far as there being a shortage of freight with a mega carrier, bro, I, I haven't seen it. Like, I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it. We keep America running, dog. I don't know why he had the side of the road. Without trucks, this fucking, this entire country would just, it would just stop, man. It would, it, I don't even know if it would survive. i give it a week. Even that might be pushing it. That's how important truck drivers are. Anywhere from California to Maine and anything in between. That's every fucking state. From West Coast to the East Coast, to the Midwest, to the Southeast, to the Northeast, to the Northwest. It don't matter. You need truck drivers. You need somebody in this seat right here. You need somebody holding this steering wheel in order to get the goods delivered, the freight, the merchandise, that dog food, yeah. Of course trucking is a good idea to get into. What other business or industry do you know in 2020 that pays you weekly? What other industry do you know in 2020 that's damn near recession proof? Get your CDL, dog. Get your fucking CDL. Study that general knowledge. Study that air brakes. Study those combinations. This is one of the best decisions I've ever made. To be honest with you, man. And you need to be better than me. Like, don't have no restriction on your license. As far as manual transmissions go. Like, in order for me to go to a smaller company that may pay better it would have been better for me to have to not have a manual restriction on my L it would have been way better land star operators you know shit get as many endorsements as you possibly can take your tanker take your hazmat take your doubles take your take take your triples test take all that shit because that's drive in it look like that also looks like drive in like Tankers make money, bro. 
Hazmat niggas make money. It's a little bit more dangerous, you know. You driving around explosives and shit, and flammable gas and propane and shit. It's more risky. Yeah, yeah. but there's more money. Shout out to that boy Bo Shifter. Shout out to all the truckers out there who's whether local, OTR, regional, dedicated. Drive van, flatbed, tanker, hazmat, doubles, triples. Shit, if you pull in a box, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But yo, this shit, specifically, like, this industry is, to me, it's recession proof, man. Three quarters of America relies on truck drivers. 75% of America's freight is transported on these 18 wheelers. It is a great idea to get your fucking CDL right now. Great idea. Stop procrastinating with this shit. You're at the crib, you're probably smoking weed. You smoking a blunt right now as you watching this. I know you smoking a blunt, motherfucker. That's that tower, right? Right? It's that little Gorilla Glue. Whatever, it's White Widow. You think I ain't know? You think I ain't know about it? I think I ain't fucking know. I used to fucking wake up in the morning and burn a spill right before I even do any fucking thing. Anyway. I tell you. You understand? You was probably smoking out of front leaf. Grabber. Blend. Raw papers. Dutch masters. Philly. Cigarellos. Bluntvilles. You gotta put the weed down, man. You gotta put the weed down. You gotta get into the fucking book. And if you don't wanna get in into the book, then download a free CDL app. I don't know which fucking app. Like, download anyone and take the practice test. Go on Google. Literally, just go to Google and type in free CDL practice written exams. Then some shit will pop up. But in 2020, getting your CDL class A, it is a great fucking idea, man. You will always have a job so long as you keep your license clean. You ain't fucking up. Like a whole lot. Like, come on now. Like, come on, you know? This shit come with a, you know, responsibility. You don't just want to be out here wilding. Like, that ass. Like, I highly recommend this shit. It's not even that difficult, man. It's not even that difficult. And you could, there's a bunch of resources online that'll help you pass the fucking test. Schedule some shit at your local DMV. Give yourself three weeks, a month, and prepare yourself, man. Look at everything that you're missing. Look at everything that you're missing out here being on this beautiful road. And don't be afraid of the winter time neither. Like, fuck that, man. I went in during the winter time, I think. Like, winter time is nothing crazy. All you have to do is just drive slower. It's common sense. And take your time. Don't be afraid of the winter because summer's, summer's over. Summer is over. You understand? Summer's over, bro. You want to get into this shit? Come on. There's enough room for you to eat. There's enough room for everybody. Pick up the phone. Call a mega carrier. Call Prime. Paul Warner, J.B. Hunt, shit, if you're desperate, go to CI England, go to Western Express, go to Night Transportation, go to Swift, just give you a list of fucking companies to choose from, bro, you gotta make the decision, do you really want to get into this shit and drive these trucks, or are you gonna sit out at the crib laying on your girl couch or your mama couch or you in the basement or whatever the case may be scratching your balls smoking weed drinking liquor every fucking weekend while the time is passing you by and i'm ch- i'm getting money i'm getting money doing this this shit damn man driving his fucking self i'm getting money but i ain't got i ain't got no money i, I don't got it but come on out here man i know you can do it Believe in your fucking self. And I'm talking to you. That's right. You. Yeah, you, man. I'm talking to you. I 
know you think it's intimidating the big track, the trailers, the 18 wheelers, the back. I don't know. I don't got no experience back then. Wow, should I go flatbed? Should I go? First of all, take it one.